Hi, my name is Chad Stevens and I'm with WCI Consulting and today I'm going to be talking about merged dimensions. It's a question that we get asked a lot and so I'm going to walk through a quick example so you can get a better understanding of how to use uh, multiple data providers uh, in one table inside of a report. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a new query. I'm going to do something simple, just grab two dimension objects and a measure. And one thing that I like to do to make this process more simplistic is to name my queries. So I'm just going to name this revenue. Hit OK. So this process is going to create one query or data provider uh, with one table in it. So where merge dimensions comes comes into play is whenever you want to create another query. So I'm going to add a new data provider. I'm going to choose uh, from a universe, just like I did my last one. Obviously there's multiple options for the type of source. In this case I'm going to choose the same dimensions, but a different measure. So in this case, I'm going to do quantity. I'm going to rename this to quantity. I'm going to run the queries. So once these two queries run, you'll notice that Web Intelligence will inherently create two tables because there is no synchronization between the two queries. So you can see that I have the same dimensions in both tables. However, it created two different tables, one that contains the sales amount and the other one that contains the sales quantity. Ideally, what I'd like to do is to have one table with just the product name and product description listed one time and then the corresponding sales amount and sales quantity per row. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this table from the, from the report and I'm going to add in here sales quantity just so you can get a feel for what happens. So as you can see, it treats it kind of like an outer join where it, it duplicates sales quantity for every row in the table. So the way that we're going to get around this is by clicking up here under data access, there is what's called the merge. And you'll notice that I, it lists out both of my queries. So I have revenue and quantity. I want to first merge on product name. Once I do this, you'll see that it created a new little uh, icon here on the left-hand side that says product name to let you know that both objects, both dimensions that exist in two different queries are now accessible by one, one name, just product name. But however, my sales quantity didn't change because I've listed two different dimensions in this table. If I were to delete this dimension, then you'll see that my quantity now will update per row by the product name. If you wanted to include product description into your report, you'd simply go into the Merge Dimension tab again, Merge Product Description, then you are able to drag that dimension back in the report and still see the correct quantity sold. Some things to note about Merge Dimensions, this only applies to dimension objects. It does not apply to measures. You also don't have to have the same name. So the dimensions from two different queries could be named completely different, but still you could merge on those dimensions. They need to be of the same data type and they need to be formatted the same as well. So if you had a date object, let's say, you couldn't have an example where a year was 2004 and in the other object it was represented as fiscal year 04 or something. Those two would not allow you to merge. 